Hi everyone, it's Steve Field from the Prime Safety Department. This is video number 16. This one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna start off with Robert and Steve. We think it's important that you always hear from the two most senior leaders in our company, Robert Lowe, our founder and president, Steve Wetke, not only our vice president of sales and marketing, but truly a driver advocate, the MC for all our events, just so critical to our success. So you're gonna hear from Robert and Steve, and then we're gonna switch it over, and this video is gonna focus on what the shop does for you. And when I talk about the shop, I'm talking about it starts down here, right behind me in the new plaza building where your truck and your trailer are inspected. And we're also gonna go look at the tractor shop, the trailer shop, and down to the body shop. And I'll tell you, and Robert talked about this and Steve did, these mechanics are really unsung heroes right now. You guys are the heroes. Us guys that work in the office, we can work from home. We've got it pretty easy, but the mechanics come in every day to work on your equipment. The shop never closes, so we wanna make sure we recognize what they do and what value they bring to you. So we hope you enjoy this video. It is a little bit different. Hello, I'm Robert Lowe, President and CEO of Prime Incorporated, and damn proud of this job too. Thank you very much for doing what you do. Tell you what, our drivers have performed magnificently and uh, through this whole ordeal, and we're very, very proud and thankful for what you do. You know, there's another group of associates that we don't maybe give the recognition that we should, and those are our technicians, our folks that work in the shops, the tire bay, uh, fueling bay, inspection, all that area. These are great associates, and they have been working hard too. You know, it's, it's hot out there right now, this time of year. In the winter time, it gets kind of cold. We try to keep the shops warm, but of necessity, those big overhead doors have to open up, right? So all the heat goes out and the cold comes in, and here we go again. So those folks do admirable work. And, you know, most of you have, have dealt with our shop associates. And, you know, I think that you uh, appreciate you know that interface and the work they're doing so definitely want to give a shout out to them I think we're going to be taking some video in the shop for for this video and uh, I think you'll enjoy that so shop folks thank you drivers thank you for what you do we miss uh, not we miss seeing you uh, we would love to get you back in here and get back to having our events where there's million milers, highway diamonds, you know, our epic, epic Christmas parties. Uh, you know, we, we hope that by that time we'll be able to get back together because we really do miss seeing you and, um, you know, breaking bread with you and maybe having a toast with you. So we'll look forward to those days returning. Uh, appreciate what you're doing. Thank you very much. God bless you and please be safe out there. Hey, good afternoon to all of you prime drivers. We sure appreciate you. This is week 16 of our videos, uh, trying to stay in touch with you all, explaining exactly what's going on um, outside your truck, outside of your environment. So uh, first of all, I'll tell you that our customers are just totally impressed and appreciative of the service you have given us. Um, you know, that's not to take away from our highest calling which is always about safety. And most recently, the last 16 weeks has been about your safety and how you protect yourselves and how you mask up and how you sanitize and how you do all those things that make a difference to keep you safe, along with obviously the highest calling for safety with the general motoring public and protecting your, yourselves as well as the motoring public. So. Thank you for uh, taking care of both of those issues. You know, things have changed in all of our worlds. I'll just share with you, you know, my world the last 35 years or whatever has been a lot of travel, seeing customers, talking about the service you bring, trying to find new business, new lanes, uh, bigger rates, uh, diversity in our freight base, you know, keeping everybody up to speed and, and uh, loading trucks. So. The last 16 weeks for me, um, you know, our owner, Robert Lowe, is into thoroughbred horses and they race. And, you know, my analogy would be that I haven't been to the track for 16 weeks and I'm kicking down the door to get out there and see our customers. Yet, 
our owner, Robert Lowe, says, no, you're not going. We're going to stay safe. You're going to stay in here, do your, do your work by software, by technology, by phone, whatever it takes. Be in touch with your customers, but we're not risking it. So I just want you to know we're all kind of trying to protect ourselves in every way. Um, you know, later today, you're going to hear from our shop guys, and quite frankly, they've done one terrific job getting everybody through uh, through the shop in timely fashions, getting work done. You know, we work from home, not our shop guys. They're here every day, trying to get the work done. So we thank uh, we thank them for everything that they're doing. Business is good. You know, just after the Fourth of July, there's a lot of business out there that hasn't been moved. I think you'll find it to be very, very busy. We need to get our percentage on the road up. We need more drivers out there to handle this business. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you were able, many of you were able to get home and see your families. I know that you've worked hard over the last 16 weeks staying out there, moving products for America, and we appreciate that very much. Thank you very, very much for all you do. We look forward to talking to you next week or the week after. In the meantime, stay safe, and if I can help you, my cell phone number is 417-343-9449. Don't hesitate to call me. Thanks for all you do. So where we're gonna to start today is the new plaza. That's certainly, this is in Springfield. When you come down Packer Avenue, you pull in here, and when you go in the bay, your truck and your trailer will be inspected. And after that, then we'll see where it goes after that. So I'm gonna turn the, the video over to Vernon Emery. Vernon oversees our operation on the maintenance side down here in the plaza. So we're gonna get started, and I'll see you again later in the video. And thank you for everything that you do. Hello, my name is Vernon Emery. I work here in our plaza department. Basically our plaza, what we do is every truck and trailer that enters the yard enters in through our plaza building. And basically what we're doing is a DOT inspection. And we're making sure that the truck and trailer are legal to run down the road. We're gonna check out your safety equipment to make sure it's operational. We're gonna you know, just look the truck and trailer over and make every, to make sure everything is good to go. We're here to make any small repairs to the truck or trailer that, that it might need. And if it needs a larger repair, we'll send that to our trailer repair shop and or our trailer rebuild shop to get those repairs done so that we can get you back out on the road just as quick as possible. So now we've added tractor mechanics to our, to our plaza base so they can look at your tractor while it's in the, in the, in the plaza building. And you know they're, they're there to help you get an appointment set up. If, if they find anything you know, that needs attention, they'll let you know and, and get you set up with the shop to get that taken care of. Again, my name is Vernon Embry. Uh, anytime that you're at the Plaza Building, if you need anything, please feel free to find me or just talk to any of our techs. They'll be happy to help you out. We just appreciate everything that you're doing for each and every one of us out there on the road every day. Thank you. Now we're at Bay 21 in the tractor shop. And this is where your tractor would come if there's a repair on the tractor that could not be fixed down in the Plaza. And I want to make sure you understand our goal, the goal of everyone in, in here, is to get you in and out as quick as possible. The mechanics are doing their job. We don't want you out on the road if there's a defect or a safety issue with your tractor or your trailer. So we, they've looked at it down in the plaza and they've decided this needs to go to the quick assessment bay. That's bay 21. So I'm going to turn it over to Chris Holtmeyer from our shop and Chris is going to explain exactly what goes on here and what you can expect. Hey, this is Chris Holtmeyer here at Springfield Tractor Shop, actually all the shops here in Springfield, but today I wanted to talk a little bit about our express assessment bay. It's Bay 21, and as you heard Steve mention and Vernon, as you come through the plaza, we're going to do a DOT inspection and we're going to find or not find any issues that you might have with your tractor. If for some reason you do find or we do find an issue, we're going to have you come up to our express assessment bay. Um, the, the idea behind this assessment bay is to, to do a more thorough inspection of your tractor. We're going to pop the hood, we're going to get underneath. Our uh, express assessor is going to speak to each of the drivers that pull the tractors in and go thoroughly through the truck to identify any issues that you have. Um, once the tractor has been assessed, then that uh, assessor will create a workload uh, for the techs that will actually be making the repairs and then we're gonna put the tractor in our staging area, which we'll show you in a few minutes. But the idea behind the staging area is so our tractor mechanics don't have to go all over our yard to try to, to find the tractor. It just makes us much more efficient uh, and allows us to push more volume through our shops and uh, service you guys a little quicker than we would otherwise. 
All right, so now you've passed through our assessment bay and uh, right behind me over my left shoulder is the staging area that we mentioned. So the staging area, like I said, is a, is a place to park trucks that have been through our assessment process. A detailed description of what's wrong with the truck, uh, both from what we found in the plaza, uh, what our assessor walked through and found, and then also comments uh, from you guys. Um, and we put that all together and make clear, concise repair orders for our techs. Uh, once you're uh, into our shop, you can expect the time that, that was spent in the express bay, or the assessment bay, uh, to shorten your, your time actually in for repairs that much because we don't have the, the techs actually going through every tractor. Um, you know, this is a new process. We want to hear your feedback. We want to get some comments, uh, just some reviews about your experiences coming through the assessment process. And we hope that this is a, a better process and quicker process for everybody. We've now moved to what we call Bay 47. A lot of times you'll hear, well, where should I go in the shop? Bay 47. That's where you're going to find the office. That's where everything comes together. This is where you're going to go to turn your keys in. So I'm going to turn this back over to Chris Holtmeyer and talk about, so he can talk about what you should expect when you come to Bay 47. All right, so now you've been through our assessment process. Your truck's out here in the staging area. You'll check in. Bay 47, as Steve mentioned, and this is where everything comes together. This is where we take your keys, we coordinate your appointment, um, and also where you come to pick up your keys after your appointment is over with. All right, and just around the corner, if you need it, is our parts room. This is where all your lights and bulbs and fluids uh, by the gallon, you can get any of that stuff over there. Um, and that pretty much sums it up for our truck shop office. Our way down to what we call the Urbana building. Most of us call it the old Plaza building. I think this opened up in about 1998. When it opened, it was state of the art. It appeared huge to us. It was fantastic. But like so many things here, we outgrew it. And that's why we have the new Plaza building here. We've learned from our mistakes down here but we still have a lot of good uses for this building. And I'm gonna turn it over to Chris Holtmeyer to talk about two of the things that we use this building for right now. All right, we're down at the Express Oil in Lou Bay, and hopefully most of you have gotten to use this uh, Express Bay by now, but you know, basically we uh, can do any type of service down here on your tractor or APU, uh, and this just keeps you from uh, spending too much time up in our shops. So you can come in through the plaza, you know, we're gonna notify you uh, through your Qualcomm that one of your services are due. Um, it's a first come, first serve uh, basis, uh, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Just show up and we'll, uh, we'll knock your services out as quickly as possible. All right, taking lessons that we've learned from our express service bay, we've also implemented an express trailer bay down in the Urbana building. So what this bay does is we allow you to, to pull your tractor and trailer in and make those quick repairs to the trailer that we would normally have been, uh, had to send up to the shop. So this saves you time. It allows you to, to get the repair done without having to unhook your trailer in most, uh, in most situations. And it, it's just a lot uh, more cognizant of your time and gets you through a little bit quicker. Now we're in our new truck prep and APU install shop uh, down in the other uh, side of the Urbana building. And what we do down here is we take new trucks and, and install the safety equipment, gear guards, and APUs that we run on all of Prime's equipment. Um, you know, this is important because we went from a process, uh, you know, around a year ago, or two years ago when we implemented this, where it would take several days to, to work a new tractor through each individual shop. If you think about it, it's got to go through tires to get wide base installed. It's got to go to the APU shop. It's got to go and get the deer guard and safety equipment put on in the tractor shop. So what we've done is put all of that in a one bay and we've taken a process that was three to four days and we were actually doing it in 12 hours or less. Um, so obviously a lot more efficient. We can produce a lot more new trucks uh, and just overall an increase in efficiency. The last stop we're gonna to make today is what I would refer to as the old wash bay. But a lot of this has been turned into a body shop and a paint shop. You know, Prime's been in business now for over 50 years, and over time, we've taken on more and more work that we used to have to use subcontractors for. We'd send our trucks out for body work, we'd send them out for painting, but we can literally do that now with Prime Associates, and when you do it with Prime Associates, you really get that I do care attitude, and they do it right. So what I'm gonna do is turn it over to Jerry Claxton. Jerry plays a big role in our body shop and our paint shop. So go ahead, Jerry. Hi, my name's Jerry Claxton. I'm the body shop manager here at Prime in uh, Springfield and uh, been here for 19 years and 
we've got our body shop up and going. We've been here for a little over two years, so uh, it's just been a really exciting part uh, to be associated with. So uh, if, you, if there's anything you need, uh, any kind of cosmetic, small, large, we can take care of it here in Springfield. So uh, give me a call uh, or come down. On behalf of the body shop, we want to thank you folks for everything you do and uh, be safe and we'll see you soon. Well, that about wraps up video number 16. A couple things I want to close with. Number one, we've been getting a lot of questions and we always appreciate your questions. So if you have comments or concerns or suggestions about everything we talked about in the shop today, be sure to comment or get with the shop on it. One question we commonly get is, what's the timeline on ordering new trucks? Well, the good news is the log jam has been broken. According to the shop now, we should be getting in about 50 new trucks a week. So we're looking forward to getting caught back up on trucks. And in fact, I've got Rodney Smith's truck right here behind me. Rodney, if you're out there watching, your truck is in. We're anxiously looking forward to you coming in to get it. One other thing I want to do is I talked about putting comments out there and we get comments literally from around the world. We had Darty37 from Great Britain kind of complimented Mr. Lowe and Prime about just the way we do things. And that made us really pleased and Robert was very pleased with that comment. So we appreciate uh, that comment from Great Britain. This is the end of our video. We'll be back again next week. I do want to close with a little bit about COVID-19. Robert and Steve touched on it, but it has not gone away. The way you stay safe individually is avoid contact with a lot of people. Your social distancing, your constant hand washing, you're using the hand sanitizer, wearing your mask. That will probably protect you through 99.99% of the time. And that's about the best we can hope for. We don't want anyone to get sick out there. So please follow those protocols. And when the time is right, we will start our prime social functions again. We do miss having them. 2020 is not gonna be a good year for get togethers, but 2021 is gonna be a great year for get togethers. We're all gonna be back. So thank you for everything that you do out there. Please continue to be safe. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll talk to you next week on the next video. Thank you.